Welcome back to Lemming News. Today's top story is that the donut store was robbed by a robber with a fine mustachio getting shot up by cops and he was also robbing the mustachio of this lady who has very tall hair and yeah. Anyway, in other news, earlier when I was eating cereal, um, I started term turning into some sort of seaweed demon monster with three giant bunny ears coming out of my hair, head, ha hair of head. Anyway, um, these guys were in an all-out battle, sword versus not sword, and guess who won? It was not sword who won the battle, and yeah, which is a perfect segue into our painting segment, which will be displayed by Leonardo da Vinci. Hello, and welcome back to Painting with Leonardo. Today, we'll be painting a lovely autumn forest scene. Starting with a little bit of blue, blue. Draw a calm river going down the middle of the center. I just put my thumb into the glitter paint, but that's fine. Nice. Now that we have our little river, even a stream, a creek, some some pouring H two O, we can get started on our tree. So let me just wash off this brush. Give me a second. Okay, there. Now we're going to get the blue off our brush using this water here. And time for my favorite part. We're just going to smack the devil out of that paintbrush. Good. Anyway, time to get started on the leaves of the trees. Get a little bit of red and mix it with our yellow to make a nice orange. That's definitely not just red. Then we'll take this nice autumn orange and just sprinkle it everywhere. Like a nice bloody murder scene. Now, um, we'll add the trunks of the trees. Take a little bit of blue and a little bit of yellow, and it makes brown. That's not how you make brown. You add red, and then it becomes brown. Okay, now that we have our dark green black kind of, we'll add the trunks of the trees. Gross. Nice, now that you have your two trees that, that exist, want 
to make the ground with the grassy ground and all the grass it's green. The reason that it's green is because photosynthesis and stuff and chlorophyll. Nice. Now that you have some grass, you're going to want to sprinkle it with a little bit of um, uh, autumn leaves. Those are the leaves. Being all leafy. Nice. Even look like tiny little dinosaur feet. -ish. And you may be wondering, why didn't I put the grass there? That's because I was saving it for some sparkly grass. You know, everything sparkly is good. We'll just make the tree also kind of sparkly. Nice. Apparently, this is a, this is just sparkles and not green and sparkles. It's green sparkles. So we're just going to add some on this other tree over here to make it all sparkly and nice. nice and sparkly. So we're gonna add some, oh, it's wet. Um, in the background down here, the river, the dam has broken and there's a nice stream of water coming through here into the corner of the page. There's probably a town or something down there getting flooded. Nice. After you draw your your wonderful little thing, add A dab of grass down here amongst the leaves. And up here. And nice. There, now that you have your nice little grass. I forgot the stuff up here, so I'm gonna add some extra green, green up here. Nice. Now you have your two happy little trees and all your leaves and grass. Anyway, now. Oh, it's curling kind of. Uh. One moment. Nice. Now that I've taped the corners so that it's all not that, I'm gonna stick my thumb in the sparkly green paint. Mush it around a little bit. I'm gonna use my thumb as a sort of paint palette thing, whatever get some more sparkles and just add a little dab in the river so it can also be shiny. Now, the townsfolk that live down here in the corner after getting flooded, they go angry at the river and decided to burn it all away. Setting fires everywhere Entire forest is on fire. Burn!
starting up in its own happy little way. And now let's go back to Justin with the news. And that was your daily news. Wah! Don't forget to sign it. Right in the corner, put your name. Leonard.